Good night, good night, have one time. Tonight, God is good, and God is good all the time. My name is Sarah Majel Spiritual. I'm here to give you all uh, short news and a word on tonight. Um, we constantly going to be talking about voting. It's very important that we vote properly um, for 2024. You know, it's so much going on, so we have to... Uh, voting is very important for 2024. So reconstruction, voting rights law. You know, when reconstruction had ended in 1877, you know, stayed across the South. You know, so in placement now, um, new law to restrict the voting rights of African Americans. You know, so uh, reconstruction did have the law to uh, to protect African Americans to, to vote. But then when they came up with a new law, they had restricted the voting rights of African Americans. So these include requirement of owning property, paying toll taxes, and passing exams. You know, um, they, they had came up with so much um, hard stuff for them back then to even try to pass the exam, you know, to um, be a registered voter. You know, so the 15th Amendment in 1870, it said the right of citizens of the United States to vote should not be denied, you know, or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of race, color, or previous condition. You know, so I request that Reconstruction Voter Rights, you know, law to be restored. Because we had it before, but they had, they had came up with a new law that restricted. You know, so I request they be restored again on the benefit of us to be not denied to um, to vote. You know, so I block the new law that restricts the voting rights of African American to vote. So, um, voting rights update. You know, we prepare for the election for 2024. You know, so it's very important, very important for 2020 vote that we vote, that everyone who's able to vote, we need you to vote. You know, so as a voter, you will help decide who will lead us, you know. You make your votes heard, you know, on an important issue, a state, a nation. Now, every time you use your right to vote, you make a difference in our democracy that grows stronger. You know, not today. The citizen over the age of 18 cannot be denied, you know, the right to vote on the basis of race, religion, sex, disability. In every state, citizen must register to vote in your district. That's why district is very important. That's why in Mississippi, you know, um, vote for their district when they took it off the map, you know. But every district has to be on the map because you vote, vote by your district. You know, so the 15th Amendment that gave African American men the right to vote in 1870. You know, but many weren't able to exercise this right. You know, now some states use legal tests and other barriers to make it harder to vote. You know, like I said earlier, they come with all kind of questions and make make it hard for your uh, your test exam for you to pass your exam you know so um voting plans voting update you know update your driving license or your id you know rest in your district you know um three update all your information if you don't move you know you need to um, give them your new address. You know, anything that changed, you know, of your um, personal information, it needs to be updated. You know, pull. learn about the person you're about to vote for. You know, pull, pull information up. Learn about that person. Follow, follow him, you know, and find out what they say or what they plan to do, you know, for um for 2024. You know, so, five, 18 years old and up have the right to vote you know and it should not be denied you know so six race religion disability you know have the right to vote and should not be denied you know because you know they were trying to deny the disability you know if they're able to go to that poll you know they're able to vote you know so seven 
if the machine you is on is seen tampered with, you know, let let one of the clerk know, you know, and move to another machine. You know, it's very important, you know, that we get this right, you know, because we have to pick the right person. You know, so you had all that confusion last, last you know, 20, uh, 2020, you know, with the, with the election. So you feel like the machine has been tampered with, you know, let the clerk know, and they'll place you at another machine. You know, so oh, that's um, for the voting, uh, up there on the voting rights. Now, we're going to talk about, um, we're going to talk about this rich man, you know, in the kingdom of God. He gonna ask Jesus a question. He asked Jesus a question. Now this story, it doesn't mean that all rich people may have a hard time getting to heaven. That don't mean that, you know, because to have a lot of rich people give to the poor, give to the church, give to some foundation, you know. So it's this don't go for all rich people. Just for this man here who was wealthy. And he refused. You know, so Matthew chapter 19, um, verse 16 through 30. Now, just a man, you know, had came up to Jesus. Came up to Jesus and asked, Teacher, you know, what good thing must I do to get eternal life? You know, so Jesus had asked, Why do you ask me about what is good? You know, Jesus replied, There is only one who is good. And if you want to enter the life, keep the command. So he told him to keep the command. Now we must believe on God and the Lord Jesus Christ who he has sent in order to be saved. So we, we all have to believe in Jesus. We have to believe in Jesus that God has sent him here to save us. So it's a, it's a lot of people that really don't believe in Jesus who have different um, religion. You know, for our, our, to save to our turn. And so they're only one good master. You know, so Jesus name what he should not do. You know, so Jesus had Jesus about to tell him what he should not do. That he would not enter, you know, to kingdom. You know, what you should not murder. You know, you should not commit adultery. You should not steal. You know, she should not get false testimony. Honor your father and mother and love your neighbor as yourself. You know, so now Jesus had told him everything that you should you should not do to uh, enter. You will not enter um, eternal life. You know, so now the man said, you know, now Jesus named everything. You know, so the man had said, I don't do none of those things. So to me, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm perfect. You know, I, I mean, I, I'm going in there. I don't do none of these things. You know, he said he don't do none of these things. But you know, Jesus can reach your heart. You know, so as he talking, as he talking about, I don't do none of those things. You know, Jesus reason his reading his um uh, reading his heart. You know, his heart is is greedy for his money. You know, so now, you know, because I know everybody was wondering why he decides to say that after the man said it. You know, because Jesus read his heart. You know, once he read his heart, then he asked him that question. You know, so all this sound good to him. You know, and he feel like he did a good deed. You know, so Jesus looked into the man's heart and discovered his true love of money. You know, so so he he looked in his heart and he see the true love that he had for money. You know, so Jesus told him. You know, keep God commanded. You know, so Jesus answered, if you want to be perfect. See, the man think he's perfect. He said, I don't do none of those things. I'm, I'm perfect. I'm good. You know, so Jesus said, if you want to be perfect, he said, go sell your possession. He said, give it to the poor, you know, and then you will have treasure in heaven and then come follow me. You know, so Jesus telling him, you get rid of everything. You know, you give it to the poor. You know, and then you will have treasure. You remember, I just talked about the you know, treasure, everything yesterday. The treasure is the kingdom of heaven. You know, so I just talked about that yesterday. You know, so Jesus said, you will have treasure in heaven if you get rid, get rid of everything. And then you come follow me. You know, because see, Jesus had 
has sought to seek his heart out. You know, he 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 had he had love for his money, his possession, and everything because he is a rich man. You know, so now this rich ruler was rich and he felt like he was perfect, but Jesus asked him a hard question. Now it was a hard question to him, you know, because Jesus searched his heart. And Jesus said, you will have treasure in heaven. He said, come follow me. You know, so Jesus explained it, how to be justified and made whole and complete in God's sight. It requires that he would place his life of personal control with a life lived in deep and daily dependence on God. Now, Jesus knew he relied on his wealth. Because he searched his heart. He, he knew he relied on his wealth. So he knew what his answer. See, Jesus already knew what his answer was going to be. That's why he asked him that. You know, that's why he asked him that. Because he, he knew in his heart he had the love of all his riches. You know, so he relied on his wealth. So he knew what his answer would be. And his wealth, his wealth or either God. His riches are either God. You know, so we see that he chose his riches. You know, so now Jesus had told him what it take to follow him. It, it take, and I just talked about that yesterday. You know, all his disciples they had to get rid of everything to follow Jesus. And see, that's that. This is the time I what I was talking about. He said, he said, oh, uh, it take to follow him. So when a young man had heard this, he went away sad. You know, he had great riches. You know, he went away sad. You know, he didn't even say nothing else. He just turned around, went away sad. You know, because he know he was not giving away nothing. He wasn't giving away nothing. You know, so uh, so Jesus knew he would not follow him. Jesus already knew he wasn't going to follow him. You know, that's why Jesus said, get rid of all your stuff. But he knew he wasn't going to get rid of it. You know, so what this rich ruler don't know, that when he depart, he cannot take his riches with him <clears throat> he cannot take his riches with him you know so loving god means using our money in ways that please him you know so then jesus please him like giving to the church giving to um foundation or giving you know give it to what is needed you know so we don't even know if he be helping anybody with his riches you know so jesus serves his heart you know, so this don't mean all rich people cannot go to heaven. A lot of rich people is donating and helping, you know, um, uh, unfortunate people. You know, helping people foundation and, and, and um, churches and stuff. You know, so they didn't say anything that this rich person is doing or helping anyone. You know, so then Jesus had said to his disciples, truly I tell you. You know, it is hard for someone who is rich, you know, to enter the kingdom of heaven. You know, so Jesus said, you, you see how it is, you know. I had told him to give himself to the poor, you know. He, he didn't give me no answer. He just turned around sad and walked away. You know, so Jesus declares that it is only difficult, you know, that a rich person would enter. But Jesus just promised eternal life to the young man. He promised eternal life to him. He asked the question. You know, and if he would sell all that he owed, you know, and give money to the poor and follow him. Now, he, he offered him. You know, he asked a question. So, Jesus gave him the guidelines, you know, what he should not do and what he should do. He chose, you know, to keep his riches, turn away from Jesus, and go ahead on his way. So, that means he refused you know, to to enter into the um uh, into into the heaven. He refused to follow Jesus. You know, so uh the money to the poor and follow him. This rich ruler refused to follow Jesus and went away sad. So Jesus said it is easy for a camel to go through an eye, you know, of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. And we see that with this with this rich ruler. You know, so the eye of a needle was indeed a narrow gateway into Jerusalem. You know, and since the camel was ha um, heavy loaded, you know, with goods and riders, they would need to be unloaded in order to pass through. See, that narrow was was was, was narrow. 
you know, in Jerusalem. And, and when they had to load up stuff, you know, they had to unload all the to pass through. You know, so therefore a rich man would have to unload his material, just like they had to do, um, possession in order to enter heaven. You know, so the uh, rich man, he asked a question, and Jesus gave him an answer. You know, so when the disciples had heard this, you know, they were greatly astonished and asked, who then can, can, can we be saved? How can we be saved? Since this ruler asked the question, you know, and we we see that he turned the, he turned around, turned away, so you know, and so they asked the same question. How can they get saved? You know, so Jesus looked at them and said, He said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. You know, God graces bring them in, and when they become followers of Jesus, you know, they want they want to share. They will, you know, in God's service, you know, because see, they're going to be following Jesus, you know, they're going to have ministries and stuff like that. So they're going to be, they, they, they're going to be helping out in the service and stuff, you know, that's what God wants you to do, you know. So he said, your graces will bring them in, but when they become followers of Jesus, they want to share their wealth in God's service, you know. So Peter answered him, we have left everything so peter said we love everything master to follow you we love everything to follow you you know so what then would there be for us what would that be for us you know so your good hard work will be rewarded you know your willingness to let everything go you know to follow jesus you know so jesus said truly i tell you at the renewal of all things you know when a son of man sit on the uh the glory throne you who have followed me talk disciple you who follow me will also sit on the throne you know of uh, judging the 12 trials of israel you know so jesus already already we already know he gonna be on the throne and so Jesus telling him, if you follow me, you know, you're going to be helping ministries. You're going you're gonna to help the services and, and everything. So, so I promise you that you will be sitting on the throne. You know, that I'm going to be sitting on. He said, you're going to be sitting on the throne. You know, um, judging the 12 trials of Israel. You know, so Jesus promised his disciples that they will sit on the throne, that there are a place for them there is a place so jesus tell them there are a place for y'all you know as long as you follow me you know and, and obey god command you know he said he promised to them that they they are a place for them you know and everyone who had left houses you know he's telling them, who all love houses and brothers and sisters their fathers their mothers their wife children they feel for my sake Excuse me. We'll receive a hundred times as much and will inherit eternal life. So Jesus letting them know. Peter has said we got rid of everything. You know, our wives, husbands, brothers, or whatever the case was, they got rid of everything. You know, so Jesus telling them, <coughs> Jesus telling them <coughs> for the sake of that, you know, you will receive a hundred times as much you know and will inherit eternal life you know so that's what jesus is telling and jesus assured the disciples that anyone who give up everything valuable for his sake you know will be repaid many times over in this life you know you know jesus disciples you know they're gonna have power like jesus jesus leaving his his spirit and everything with them and, you know, so that's what Jesus had telling. Jesus said, uh, I assure the disciples that anyone who give up something valuable for him, for his sake, you know, will be repaid many times over this lifetime. You know, but many who are first, you know, will be last. You know, and many who are last will be first. You know, but in the life to come, the last will be first. You know, to be willing to make sacrifices now for greater reward later. 
you know, be willing to accept human disapproval. You know, we go, now see, see, Jesus telling them, just because you're my disciple, you're still going to go through the pain and suffering. You're still going to go through disappointment. You're still going to go through all that. You know, so we still go through all things. You know, just because you're a disciple or you're a Christian or you under God, God going to still allow certain things to occur. You know, just like he said back with Job, you know, and he was testing Job faith. So Jesus tell him, you're going to have disappointment. You're going to have disapproval, you know. But he said, while knowing that you have God approved. You know, so that's just the main thing that's important. When everybody disown you and, and reject you, if, if you have God approval, so that's what Jesus is telling me. That's the only thing that's come because you're going to get disapproval. You're going to get disappointment. You're going to get rejected. You know, you know, uh, just because they follow. So Jesus let them know, just because you follow me, all these things will happen. You know, just because you follow. And that is the truth. You know, when you turn your life over, you know, you're going to get all the disappointment in life. You know, so Jesus let them know that's okay. You know, because a lot of people reject Jesus. So that's why he let them know, no, you follow me, you're going to get the same disappointment. You know, so this rich ruler had asked, how can he enter, you know, uh, enter what a good thing must he do to get eternal life? He, he the one asked the question, you know. So Jesus had given everything, you know. Jesus had told him to give everything to the poor and follow him, you know. So he asked the question, but he refused. He refused to the um to answer, and he turned away, saying he did not want to follow. He refused to follow Jesus. You know, he walked away, saying, meaning he refused to follow Jesus because he did not want to get rid of his riches. Jesus' disciples they got rid of everything. You know, they got rid of everything. You know, to follow, and he told them that they will sit on the throne. You know, so the disciples, they did, they did well, they did what they had needed to do, you know, because Jesus had to pick 12 disciples. You know, he said, for y'all to follow me, you had to get rid of everything to follow me, you know. And so this, um, this rich ruler, you know, he came along and asked the question, how can he get eternal life? You know, so Jesus told him, you got, you follow the command, you know, follow God's commandment. And then he gave him um rules and regulations what not to do you know if, if you do these things you cannot enter so he said okay oh i don't do none of that i don't do none of that so i'm good i'm good you know i i i do good deed I, i'm good you know and so jesus as he keeps saying i'm good i'm good i do a good deed you know so jesus is searching his heart right now while he's talking you know, Jesus said he got a greed of money, all uh, his wealth. You know, Jesus realized he's rich. You know, so Jesus going to ask this question, you know, knowing what his answer was going to be like. You know, uh, so so Jesus had said, okay, you know, you, you asking me this question, okay, I need you to just get rid of all this stuff. Get rid of everything, you know, and then, you know, you come follow me. You know, so the, the rich ruler, he ain't even saying nothing. You know, he ain't saying nothing. He turned around with his head down and he walked away. You know what I mean? He refused to turn the light. He refused to follow Jesus to get on the throne. He refused to get the treasure in heaven. You know, he refused. And he the one asked the question. And he walked away saying, you know. So that's a story on the rich ruler. You know, he was rich. And he refused to follow Jesus, you know, because he refused to give up his riches. And um, and, and um, Jesus' disciples, they already had nothing but their family. But they still was willing to get rid of everything, leave everything behind to follow Jesus. You know, so he was showing the difference of being poor or uh just, just enough of being rich. How easy it'll be for certain people to just get rid of stuff to follow him, you know, to enter the um to kingdom of heaven. 
you know, so we also talk about voting rights. I mean, voting, voting rights and voting up, update, you know, so it's very important for us, for everyone to come out and vote, you know, for 2020 vote, you know, we need every vote. We need everyone to take uh, a closer uh, uh, attention, pay attention on who you want to vote for. You know, so we have to be careful who we vote for. You know, we need to, to we need to uh, you do research. You need to follow the person who you want to um, vote for. You know, find out what they what they gonna do for 2024. You know, because uh, just a critical time right now. We need everyone to vote for 2024. So that's all the news and word that I have for you tonight. You know, y'all have a blessed and safe night, and I see y'all on the next video.